Good morning. It's day 17. I've left Bear Hollow Shelter. Uh, I've got about four miles to the road junction where I have a package at the Johnson Hardware Store and where my son will be picking me up at 10 a.m. So pretty psyched about an easy day, relaxing day, a shower. Man, I'm sticky. I'm like flypaper and uh, laundry and asleep in a real bed and all the rest of it. So uh, pretty psyched. It's kind of like a happy day, less hiking. I, I had such terrible cramps after I fell yesterday and I they still twitching right now, but it's uh, I'm sure I can make it four miles. It's supposed to be a relatively easy trail today. So onward. So far, beautiful soft trail this morning, uh, which is fantastic. It's after 200 plus miles of incredible rocks and roots and cliffs, etc. So it's supposed to be rather nice all the way into town. It's such a nice treat to once in a while run into these easy trails. Hey, good morning. I'm sitting in front of Johnson Hardware. Um, which is right off the trail and I was able to pick up a resupply package here They have a great camping section and uh, very accommodating people. They give you a coke and some chips And they had a great hiker box as well. I didn't get anything out of it, but um, um, Gianna got all breakfast for the rest of the trail out of it So good on her and what a wonderful stop here And I'm just waiting for my son to pick me up and then head dashing back to New Hampshire to clean up and do my resupply. So it's all good. Johnson's is a, a worthwhile stop for you long trail hikers. Hey, good morning. Day 18. That's my son waving goodbye to me. Uh, my beautiful son Andy just dropped me off <clears throat> back on trail. It's 1230. It's day 18. And the updated forecast is it's raining today. Uh, there he goes. I love you, buddy. And uh, I have, I think it's four or five miles to a shelter where I'm definitely staying. I hope, hope, hope <clears throat> there's space in the shelter because it's supposed to start raining tonight and all day tomorrow. <clears throat> and I know I'm going to be walking in the rain tomorrow. But um, after that, I think it'll take me another three, well, I think I calculated like four days. <clears throat> and uh, I'll get to Canada and uh, I'll be good. So good weather for the rest of the week. Uh, not great weather today and tomorrow. It's, it's all of a sudden it started off sunny and warm this morning and the temperature's dropping like a rock. It feels like it's maybe high 50s and it's definitely windy. So I'm on my way. I am so grateful for being picked up and uh, and I did a lot of stretching. I've been having some terrible cramps in my in my thighs. And I'm just hoping um, if I keep doing the stretching, I'll be able to, um, this white, that's me, white blaze. Uh, I'll be able to hold this, this problem at bay. And then of course, when I get home and I'm not carrying a 25 or 30 pound pack and doing arduous hiking, I'll be able to make longer term term enhancements. But that's it. Let me get hiking. Talk to you soon. Well, the terrain is soft and there's no end of steep climbs coming out of Johnson. Uh, but the less likely to trip and have to jump down a 10-foot uh, rock face. It's raining a little bit here in the afternoon on my way to close to Round Top Shelter. The next shelter is, I think, about eight miles away. And I could get it if I wanted to press into the night, but I've calculated relatively easy days to Canada and, and an easy day today just give my chance back a chance to recover. So I'll be sitting hopefully in a pretty empty shelter for a while and I'll be getting there soon.
Hey guys, it's about 2.30. I was going to stay at this round top shelter, but some inexperienced, well-meaning, but uh, inexperienced fool left uh, all sorts of dehydrated vegetables in there. There's mouse crap everywhere. I swept it out, threw away the vegetables as far as I could, but um, man, oh man, what, what people... What and there's a nice note. This is for anyone hiking. Great. No, it's for the mice. Don't do that. couple of nice water sources. I've just passed this. A great one. I've got about just under six miles to get to the Corliss camp. And I'm pressing ahead. The trail is rather cruisy, which I haven't experienced. Look at how pretty that is. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How nice. And let me say this. I was uh, passing two hikers, a couple. And what else was stopped at round trip? Round top shelter, and the man said to me, "You know, this is great hiking weather. It's it's cool, it's damp. There's a little bit of little bit of occasional rain." And he's right. And I was ruminating about uh, how exasperated I was with this dried vegetables all over the place in the round top shelter. So he was right. I just kind of dug myself a hole, and now I'm energized and powering ahead. These sort of things like rock walls in the middle of the forest, I'm way away from any sort of road, reminds me that the use of land changes over time. And it's, I love stone walls, and this is a gorgeous one, well made, and it has stood the test of time. Who knows how long ago a farmer cleared his fields to plant, plant food and graze animals in it, but it's still here, largely intact, for, except for the occasional tree trunk that demolishes a section. Pretty neat. For a little while I've been walking through super easy trail. <laughs> Makes me happy even though there's a lot of vertical. Uh, but it's, it's smooth. And a lot of old growth hemlocks. They go way, way, way up. And very happy to see there's other old growth trees. I don't immediately know what kind, but uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. <clears throat> Just pressing on, I'm getting drizzled on. Temps are cool, but actually ideal for hiking. Hey there, uh, belated day 18 wrap up. I made it to the Corliss shelter, did a little over 11 miles. Um, I didn't intend to go this far, but I was at the, I stopped at the round top shelter where I was going to stop and just have a very long rest and stretching exercise regimen. But the, because the food was scattered all over the, the shelter, I um, thought there'd be bears and mice. So I hiked on eight miles to here, got here after six, and had a pleasant night. It's not raining now, it's supposed to rain, so maybe we'll be lucky. Um, I'll uh, reconnect back up the trail.